Hello, my name is Bert Seelman. I'm 62 years old and I've been working for over 37 years in the natural health and human performance field. I've worked with many different types of people, all types of diseases, from the least to the worst, and seen many miraculous things happen according to what most people would actually say are not possible at all. I want to talk to you about our misguided perceptions of the medical field and the truth behind what doctors are practicing and what they are not practicing. They're not talking about the health that we think of today. They were at one time, but today this has been lost. I'm talking about the health that comes from total restoration, realizing that every four days we have a new stomach lining. Every 28 days we build a new layer of skin. Every 16 to 18 months our body is brand new to every cell. Think about how what we put in our mouths can change who we become as this time period changes. If we're going to eat ho-hos and ding-dongs, we're obviously going to become ho-hos and ding-dongs. What I'm talking about today is intent. What is the truth behind what people really are doing and what they have sworn an oath to do and what they are not doing? What I'm talking about today is not just the standard of care for doctors, but about the ignorance of people who think that all of these practitioners are about this person's health who walks in the door. This is not true. What I'm going to show you today, I have talked with many attorneys on. I'm about to show you that by law, most doctors and physicians today are not practicing according to their oath and that they are doing things that are not only against their oath, but are actually crimes against humanity. I'm talking heinous, cruel, and unusual things that should not be done. Do not take me wrong. I'm saying that there are many doctors out there who wish to make things right for people, who have the right intent, but there are also more professionals out there who are not doing what they actually swore an oath to do. So I want you to consider the things I'm about to show you. You all know that they took what's called the Hippocratic Oath. Hippocrates said many years ago, let thy food be medicine and thy medicine be thy food. Yes, we can change who we are, no matter whether it's cancer, or hepatitis C or HIV. These things can all be arrested, they can all be stopped, and they can all be reversed because our body is a renewable resource. Yes, a new stomach lining every four days, a new layer of skin every 28, and that's right, a new body every 16 to 18 months. I've seen it happen. I want you to know today what the truth says. I'm first going to talk to you and show you the original Hippocratic Oath that was used up until 1964 and it was translated from the Greek. And for time's sake, I'm going to cut right to the chase. The old classical oath of the Hippo Hippocratic Oath for doctors said in the third paragraph, I will apply dietetic measures for the benefit of the sick according to my ability and judgment. I will keep them from harm and injustice. Please note, I will apply dietetic measures. Where does your doctor today able to tell you or where has he practiced with you finding out what you're eating, how to prevent the diseases from happening. You go to this man for a cure, but yet he doesn't tell you anything on how to prevent it. Could it be because it makes him money? Or more importantly, could it be because a big pharma taught him how to practice medicine and maybe he was duped? I want you to look at the next paragraph. I will neither give a deadly drug to anyone who asked for it, nor will I make a suggestion to this effect. Notice that they have sworn an oath that they will help you with dietetic measures and that they will help you to get well, that they will not even suggest a drug or anything that can cause harm. Yet pharmaceuticals all have more side effects and the risk of greater problems than the things that they actually work with. We all know that when it comes to pharmaceuticals, there is no such thing as a cure. Your body has not been restored with what has broken down. The pharmaceutical products that you see today only eliminate the symptom. They only eliminate the symptom and mask the severity of the problem that you have. They do not do anything to restore. You will notice in every case when a person starts on a medication that as time progresses, they need more and more medications. Eventually, the side effects are so great and the symptoms become so numerous that you cannot determine which one has originated from the other. I want you to show yourself by going out and finding this old original Hippocratic Oath, what it says in the third and fourth paragraphs. 
Now I want you to look at the new Hippocratic Oath. The new Hippocratic Oath has many changes. I want to bring up a point. It was changed in 1964 by a man named Luis Lasagna at Tufts University. Mr. Lasagna also became one of the heads of the Food and Drug Administration after being in the American Medical Association. Could this be due to their certain influences and pressures for money or for position or for power? I want you to notice something that it says very carefully. It says in the fourth paragraph, I will remember that there is art to medicine as well as science, that warmth, sympathy, and understanding may outweigh the surgeon's knife and the chemist's drug. You'll notice that the chemist's drug has now been put in. Where did this come from and why? Could this have been something from Big Pharma? Look at the next paragraph. I will not be ashamed to say I know not, nor will I fail to call in my colleagues when the skills of another are needed for a patient's recovery. Recovery or recovery for him to do another service that could cost you something more. I want you to look farther into this. It says that I will respect my, the privacy of my patients for their problems are not disclosed to me that the world may know. But please follow. Most especially must I tread with care in matters of life and death. If it is given to me to save a life, all thanks. Well, of course, we would all be wonderful people and we would want to help people and save a life. But notice what continues. But it may also be within my power to take a life. Whoa. Within my power to take a life. You're going to a man and you're going to sign a release and he has the power to take your life. I want you to think about this. This awesome responsibility must be faced with great humbleness and awareness of my own frailty. What? He's afraid that someone will come back and kill him? Or maybe take his life? But the next point is absolutely ludicrous. It is absolutely insanity. Above all, I must not play at God. He can give a life or he can take it, and he's not playing God? This is hypocrisy in itself. But go on. It goes down farther to say, I will prevent disease whenever I can, for prevention is preferable to cure. Now I want to ask you, cancer cannot be cured until you go back and help the self-cleaning mechanism of the cell. We've done this with too many people. I've seen it done with many healthcare practitioners. There is an actual restoration that can happen with your body because it is a renewable resource. But where are they talking about prevention? There is no prevention. In fact, Big Pharma has gone on TV today to actually sell you the drug so that you go to your doctor after hearing it on the TV and demand that you get it. But do you know the long-term side effects? Remember, once you start on a pharmaceutical, it is only masking or stopping the actual symptom. The disease itself is progressing. Shouldn't we go back and restore the body from whence it came? Shouldn't we go back to nutrition and start to do what we need to do? If you always do what you've always done, you always get what you've always gotten. I want you to notice, they say, I will prevent disease. This is an oath, a solemn vow. By law, they are breaking their own oath. This is a crime against humanity. I say that such people who commit these crimes should be charged with crimes against humanity. I believe that these people are nothing more than modern paid terrorists who have licensed themselves and their organizations to put them above what we know as common sense. I'm asking you to consider these things that these doctors do. By their own admission, they are not doing what they have sworn to do. The old oath, as it says here, I will apply dietetic measures for the benefit of the sick. I will neither give a deadly drug to anyone who asks for it, nor will I suggest this effect. Make a suggestion to this effect, excuse me. Please, who is the hypocrite here? But more importantly, who's stupid? We see healing done all the time through many health care practitioners. I say, take your health into your own hands. That going to a doctor is a big possibility for you actually signing your life away. Is it about your health or is it about his money? I want you to stop and look at these things. Your health is important and so are your loved ones. Thank you.